I do that every time, don't I? I think I really clap. I, I actually do that a few reasons, so I'll tell you why. So I always clap in the videos because most of the time, for I'm not used to doing a lot of live videos, but why I clap is because a lot of times when I'm editing, I just look for the audio spikes and it helps me to edit the video faster um, whenever I'm scrubbing through a lot of videos. But other than that, what's up guys? Hope you are having an awesome day. Um, I just posted on Instagram that we are getting ready to go live here because yesterday I asked the question and the question was what questions do you have when it comes to starting your digital fitness business and the one that kind of stood out and made the most sense to me was well what's the first thing you should do when starting a business from scratch so I wanted to break it down and show you guys what I would do uh, if I was starting and again it kind of is dependent a little bit on you on your situation but there are just some basic things that you should do whenever you're first starting out a digital fitness business and brand so if you guys are joining us here on the live here on facebook make sure you smash the like button share this with some other fitness professionals that you know would find value in this content um, because that's the whole goal of everything that i'm trying to do is help real serious fitness professionals um honestly create an awesome life for themselves by expanding into digital fitness. So I think the first thing that I should talk about is what do I mean when I say digital fitness? Because I think people think they think they know what I mean, but they probably don't. So who should have a digital fitness business? Everyone. Every single person that works in fitness should have a digital fitness business. Now, what that business looks like should be very different based upon the individual. So a digital fitness business is not online training. It is not just selling PDFs. It's not doing one-on-one um, -on -one personal training. It encompasses a lot of things. So just me personally, um, I was counting this up for somebody the other day. I make money in digital fitness about nine different ways. And... I think some of those ways would be very good for most people to do, and some of them they probably shouldn't do. But everybody should have some type of digital business offering that they have as another revenue stream for themselves if they're working in fitness. So just to kind of like brainstorm, and, and I'm going to do a much more detailed video on this because I don't think people realize all the opportunities there are out in digital fitness, but just you can have a high ticket one-on-one -on -one personal training program. You could do a low ticket subscription model. You can create content for companies and they'll pay you for that. You can do brand deals. You can do affiliate links, uh, affiliate progr uh, programs off of like equipment and stuff that you use for at home fitness equipment. You can sell one off PDFs or eBooks. You can sell nutrition guides. You can do, um, what are some other ways that I do it? Oh yeah, uh, brand deals, which is great. Um, was the other ones, I, I had a whole list the other day. Oh yeah, apparel. You have your own um, apparel that you sell. You sell supplements. You can sell um, fitness equipment. If you think about even like people like Bert Contreras, he invented and created some of his own fitness equipment. Like there's a lot of different ways to make money with digital fitness, and I definitely believe as a fitness professional, you should have multiple streams of revenue for yourself. And uh, making one of those, if not as many of them as possible, happen for yourself. But well, that's another topic for another video. The purpose of this video is what is the first thing you should do when starting a digital fitness business from scratch. And honestly, what I believe the first thing that you should do is know the who. We talk all about this in our EntreFit coaching program and also in the new resource we've just created, the Fit Pro Content Framework. And you guys can download that at any time. Uh, click the link below in the description. It's entrefitcoaching.com slash fitprocontent. And it's about identifying the who. So who do you wanna work with? When it comes to digital fitness, it's, it is but it isn't. It's very similar, it's more similar, I should say, to your in-person business than what you may realize. So. This is why it's very specific with the content you create to know who you are going to attract. So whenever it comes to digital fitness, you have a much bigger platform. When you have your in-person business, most of the time you're just confined to one gym or, or uh, maybe a series of gyms or, or a city that you're in, in. So it's easier to get to know everybody and for them to get to know you. Whenever you go into digital, 
literally you have billions of people that you are marketing to. And so it's a lot harder to stand out and it's a lot more difficult to develop the relationships. So you have to be much more intentional with who you're going to seek out. So to, to kind of maybe put this in a perspective that you might be able to relate to, imagine being like this huge jack bodybuilder going into a yoga class trying to recruit people. Probably going to be pretty difficult. Or imagine, you know, being like this high intensity CrossFit athlete uh, going into a Zumba class trying to recruit people. Like you're not going to connect with those people. That's what happens a lot of times with digital fitness is people try and put things out for everyone and they end up getting and attracting no one. Now, there are issues with scale. Whenever you have millions of followers, you can kind of put out a little bit more general content, but I'm assuming the most of you, if you're watching this video right now, you probably don't have millions of followers. And so you're looking for ways to get started and to stand out. And so I'm assuming you have a smaller social media following. So if that is the case, you have to be very specific so people know exactly who you are and what you stand for. And we actually walk you guys through this step-by-step -step in the Fit Pro content framework. And again, you can just click the link down there below to, to download that free. But by knowing who you stand for, you're going to attract other people and that's going to make you stand out more. If you even think about some of the accounts that you probably personally like on social media, I, I know just the ones that I do, they're very specific with who they market to. Now, this is where people get confused. It's a difference. There's a difference between who you're marketing to and who you're working with. So a lot of times people get afraid of being too specific with who they want to work with because they're afraid they're going to be limiting people. And in some ways you are because good marketing is not only about attracting the right people, but it's, it's pushing the wrong ones away that aren't right for your business. So to give this, to make this uh, easy for you to understand, when I do my uh, online fitness products, it is marketing online fitness to busy moms and dads. That's who I market my content to. It doesn't mean if an athlete comes to me, I'm going to turn him away because, oh, no, 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 I only work with busy moms or dads. No, no, no. My messaging with my marketing is towards busy moms and dads, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to work with everybody else. So, again, that's specific towards my, my higher ticket product that I, that I create with one-on-one -on -one custom. But I want you to understand that by limiting with your messaging, it doesn't limit who you'll accept money from. At the end of the day, even whenever you've got your in-person business, you're probably known for a specific set of skills, whether it be, you know, CrossFit style training, maybe it's more of like movement based, like animal flow work, maybe it's powerlifting, like functional training, whatever it is, you're known for that because that's personally how you like to train. But if somebody came to you and they're looking for general health and wellness or weight loss, you could probably program and do that for them. It's the same way with digital fitness, but you have to be more specific whenever you're speaking and creating content so you attract some people. Because if not, you're just going to get lost in the noise. And it's very, very easy to get lost in the noise if you are just trying to be like everybody else. So find your who and really establish your voice of who you want to attract with your digital fitness business and I promise it will start to take shape for you. Because again, remember, digital fitness can look like a lot of different things. And we're going to get into that in another video. So I just do, do want to show you guys this just really quick. Um, this is the Fit Pro content guide that we have right here. And literally, it's 11 pages of what I think is pretty awesome content. So we walk you through this right here. This whole section here is going to show you guys how to identify exactly who you want to work with. In each one of these, it's three steps. It's who, what, and how, and each one of them has about a seven minute video that's gonna walk you through and break down each one of these things for you. Um, because once you know who, you gotta learn what. What should you be creating for them? What kind of content do you create for the who? And we got this awesome content matrix where I've had several people tell me that that was the most valuable thing to them is having a, imagine having a guide where you never run out of content. That's what this content matrix does and it's free. Um, then the last thing that we do is the how. So I got some of just right in here, just some of them that I've listed, some of my top apps and services that I use for creating content and, uh, make your content stand out. So if you've seen the things where it's like transcriptions and captions on the bottom and, and it's got the bar up top, we show you exactly how to do that. It's really simple and easy to use. So if you guys want that, you can just go right here. It's entrefitcoaching.com slash fit pro content. Um, all you have to do is enter your name and email and we're going to send this framework directly to you. 
Um, it's an awesome free guide. And I know if you guys start implementing these things, this will lay the groundwork for anything that you want to do in digital. Like I said, whether it's work, doing that high ticket, that subscription, starting to create content, brand deals, affiliate offerings, you have to have the content down first so then you can start taking advantage of these other opportunities that you have. So again, I hope this added value to you. If so, make sure you do me a huge favor and share this to other fitness professionals because um, the goal with this is to help more serious fitness professionals. I wanna do a lot, lot more videos like this, so let me know exactly what you would like to cover and how I can help you guys, because I can't do this without you. So we need to be able to share and impact this with more people. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna be able to come back in here, respond to any comments down here below. So make sure you guys are asking questions, dropping down here. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, it's at Sean Garner, or you can follow us on the Entrefit Coaching at, at Entrefit Coaching. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day.